Manny Chair Khan was a tyrant whose reputation for cruelty was well known. To make matters worse, he also had a lot of power because he was the governor of Isfahan and a great friend of the Shah. This man was the last person you'd think the Bab would turn to when the authorities in Shiraz began to persecute him and his followers. By the summer of 1846, so many people had begun to follow the Bab that the Shirazi authorities wanted him executed. The Shah didn't agree, so they decided to secretly kill the Bab instead. However, the very night they were to kill him, a severe cholera epidemic swept the city. The governor fled, sending his chief constable to arrest the Bab. The constable then discovered that his own sons were ill with cholera. He begged the Bab to help. The Bab gave him some water that he'd used for his ablutions and told him to give it to his sons. The constable did as instructed and the boys recovered. When the governor returned, the constable begged him to spare the life of the Bab. He agreed on condition that the Bab left the city immediately. And so, the Bab left Shiraz. Shortly after he left, the Bab wrote to Manishir Khan the governor of Isfahan, requesting shelter. The governor was so impressed with the letter that he granted the request. The Bab lived in Isfahan for 18 months. During that time, hundreds of people from every rank began to follow the Bab. Some would even try to take the water he'd used to bathe as they believed it had healing powers. Manushir Khan himself also became a follower of the Bab, stating, I solemnly testify to my belief in the reality of the superhuman power with which this youth is endowed, a power which no amount of learning can ever impart. The clergy in Isfahan feared the Bab's influence and passed a verdict of death on him, but he had the protection of the governor, so he was safe. Manushir Khan was so transformed that he realized his wealth was as a result of oppression and he offered to give it all to the Bab. The Bab accepted, but then immediately returned it. Then Manishir Khan offered the Bab his army so that he could march to Tehran to tell the Shah of his message. The Bab said he didn't need any army as his cause wouldn't triumph by use of force, but rather by the efforts and sacrifice of the poor and lowly. However, the Bab saw that the governor was trying to atone for past evils and thanked him saying, so lofty a purpose is to me even more precious than the act itself. Manishir Khan died shortly after this offer. With his protector dead, the enemies of the Bab could now freely pursue their campaign to destroy him. <laughs>